Uh, hello and welcome to the Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. Uh, today is July 13th and this is the EU US edition. Uh, today we have myself and Kirkwood. Uh, Bruno's uh, on some well deserved PTO, so please um, enjoy that. Uh, today on the agenda, I have a couple of blog posts post that were published this week. Uh, the weekly release and LTS releases, both uh, upcoming and future. Uh, there was a security advisory that was published yesterday. Uh, Google Summer of Code is in full swing. We just had the midterm presentations and uh, some great just uh, check-in points from all of our participants there. Uh, the Java 17 transition, uh, open pull requests of interest, uh, so note on DevOps World Tour, and a uh, note about the next two Asia Docs office hours meetings. Uh, they are canceled. Marks unavailable, so uh, the decision has been made to uh, just not have those. They have been removed from the business calendar. Uh, so for anyone watching this in the future, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, anything else to add to the agenda here, Mark, or does that cover things for you? Uh, tail end item that I won't be available for next week's meeting, but I believe Bruno will be. So I assume you and Bruno will meet. Oh, for um, this session? Yeah. Yeah, this session next week, I'll be out of the office. Yeah, yeah, of course, no worries. And um, yeah, I'll be hosting it no matter what, so. All right, then. Uh, so uh, first things first, um, for the blog posts, we just posted our June newsletter at the beginning of the week. Uh, so this is great. Updates from June from the Jenkins teams. Uh, thanks to all of the SIG leaders for contributing their uh, updates and getting this out, out onto the blog. Uh, and then we recently had an infrastructure outage. Uh, Damien Duportel, who is part of the infrastructure team, helped and uh, manage that and has created a postmortem, kind of just going over what happened, uh, their actions to resolve and background and some next steps for us to take as far as making sure that uh, these sort of things don't happen in the future or if they do, what kind of actions can we take to uh, mitigate that even better? So. Uh, thanks to him for creating this and uh, writing this up, and thanks to everyone uh, that he's listed here for all of their help and assistance in getting this resolved. Uh, the, yeah, so it looks like uh, it was only four hours long, so uh, that's great in the grand scheme of things. Obviously, no downtime is best, but that's also a pipe dream, so yeah, great job. Uh, the weekly release of 2.4 and 4 for Jenkins has was released successfully. Changelog uh, has been merged and is present as well. Uh, the next LTS is 2.401.3, and that will be released in two weeks on July 26th. Um, Changelog and upgrade guide are uh, present and available as pull requests right now, but um, we're leaving things open for a little bit just to make sure that any new entries or any other backwards can be added. Uh, the next LTS baseline discussion has been started in the developer mailing list. Right now, uh, the discussions between 2.413 and 2.414. Uh, 2.414 seems to be the front runner at this time. Just uh, it's got all the updates and fixes that we've had. And uh, as of its release, there haven't been any issues or complaints. So things are looking up for 2.414. Uh, and that's that discussion will continue to happen. And once we have that baseline selected, we'll share that. Uh, there was a security advisory published yesterday for plugins specifically. Uh, it's not Jenkins core affected. Um, and just something to be aware of is there are some unresolved issues down here towards the bottom of the security advisory. Uh, just be aware of that. If you run into any issues with any of these plugins, uh, there will be notification uh, or a warning regarding that. And um, if anything too, that they could be up for adoption, which would be a great opportunity to uh, step up and take that on if that's something that's really crucial and needed. Uh, if you find that it's uh, something you're using a lot, uh, it might be a good opportunity to join the open source community in a way. Uh, if there also just one last thing, if there are any other issues or if anything comes up, if anyone finds anything, please report them obviously to the security team. Uh, the more we know, the better we can do to help fix these issues before they get too far. So there is there is one item of note there. You'll see it. It's on your screen right now. There's the link to Rebuilder plugin, 
that's about three quarters of the way down the the list. Rebuilder plugin is one that was include has been included in the Jenkins setup wizard as a an optional but visible plugin. So when you when you run the setup wizard, you can choose to install the suggested plugins, or you could take the alternate path and choose your own. And in the choose your own, it lists the rebuild plugin. Uh, now that it's got an open security advisor against it, the pull request has been submitted for proposing to to remove it from the setup wizard and 2.4.15 and to backport that to LTSs so that we're not suggesting to new users that they should install a plugin with a known unresolved security vulnerability. Now, it's got a, a, a larger number of installations 49,000 installations is a lot of installations so we would much prefer it be adopted and somebody fix it but the uh, the reality is right now it's got this security vulnerability so it'll be removed from the setup wizard and is there a chance that if in the future is these issues are resolved mark that it can be put back in or is yes. it yeah, that that option's available. Certainly, there's nothing stopping us from re from adding it again to the setup wizard. It just doesn't make sense to have it in the wizard when it's got a known vulnerability. Right. Right. Great. Thanks for adding that in. Appreciate the context, Mark. Thank you so much. Uh, up next, so uh, Google Summer of Code is something that's been going on now since May. Uh, the midterm presentations were completed just last week. Um, huge thanks to Vandi, Jagri, Harsh, and uh, Shatosh for presenting and sharing and, and all of their work on this. Um, the recording is actually available uh, here in the webinar. And so um, it's about an hour and 40 minutes long, maybe roughly, maybe a little bit shorter than that, but uh, so much great stuff, great content, great insight, um, and it just a chance to meet the participants, which is really, really nice and, and puts a face to this, which is really lovely. Um, Lots of updates, lots of great progress is made. Um, the midterm evaluations are also due from the lead mentors by tomorrow. So uh, if you haven't had a chance to, by all means, make sure you do that. Uh, but uh, that's something I'm sure everyone's been working on anyway. So uh, so under for Google Summer of Code, so one of the projects is the Docker Quick Start project. Uh, so this is the one that Ashutosh is working on. And during the webinar, it was his first time presenting to a group in an online meeting, did really well, um, shared some really lovely and really great insight uh, to the project and what he's been able to accomplish thus far. Um, and you can actually see his portion right here. Uh, Mark and Bruno also submitted some requests to provide various updates and uh, tests, which is really great. This is the idea of Google Summer of Code is that new contributors can work with experienced developers and experienced contributors to just build their own and get that get that foot in the door and leverage and um, understand open source and Jenkins and in this case Jen in our case Jenkins. Uh, and then uh, Vanti was it has been working on the building Jenkins.io with alternative tools project. So um, they're using Antora and have a prototype site that has been uh, built and is uh, displaying a lot of the uh, you know, visual updates and differences that would be that would exist in a different version. Um, the nice thing is here too, and, and one of the big things is that it's version documentation. So you'd be able to switch uh, based on the version of Jenkins you're using LTS weekly. So Kevin, would you be willing to test drive it? In the bottom left corner, yeah, there's course. a drop down for 2.2. I think if you pick 2.1, it will switch to documentation for 2.1. Good. Yep. Okay. So, and that is working. That's good. I hadn't had a chance mm -hmm. to test it. Yeah. And it looks like there's also uh, another one up there in the right-hand corner too, Mark. So multiple points of access, multiple ways for people to navigate. But uh, yeah, the documentation site is working really well. Uh, it's color coding and shading things a little differently to offset them better. I think this looks a lot nicer and a lot Cleaner as far as just the presentation of the documentation itself goes, which is great. Um, and then I know that there are, I'm trying to think of where they might be, but there are examples of code blocks and warnings and notes that are all uh, so, visually updated as well. Could you click on one of the really long sections like installing Jenkins over on the sure. left? 
okay, it's fine. And then do, uh, let's see, it was managing Jenkins, I think that is also long. And again, doesn't look bad on your screen. Good, okay, so much better than the, the vertical scroll bar that we get on the left today. Very good, okay. And show me pipeline, I think it is, is the other one? Yep. Okay, and then managing Jenkins. All right, and system administration, the very last, uh, the second to last, or third, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, great. So this is definitely rendering much better. Yeah, and I something um, I just noticed here. So even like the subsections are uh, collapsed and, and uh, uncollapsible, which is not the case currently. You have to actually click on the reverse proxy configuration uh, link to then see the list of multiple proxies. Mm. Uh, so this is this is great. So yeah, um, looks awesome. Big thanks to Vandi for working on that, and uh, again, all the mentors, all of the org admins, everyone that's been part of the Google Summer of Code experience. Uh, none of this is possible without you. So thank you to literally everyone working on this. It's uh, it's incredible. So yeah. Uh, and just one last note on the Google Summer of Code. Uh, so Jagruti has actually uh, written a blog post, talking describing a lot of her experiences thus far. Um, that's actually, that should be ready to merge once she's gotten a chance to check my final review. Um, but it's minor stuff and I, yeah, as soon as she's ready, we'll merge that and get that published as well. So thanks again. Uh, the transition to Java using Java 17 and the Jenkins documentation has been underway for some time uh, with the Debian release and of uh, Debian 12 and no longer offering JDK 11. Uh, or uh, delivering JDK 11, um, we've been work I've been working on making sure that our documentation matches that and and uses Java 17 as uh, all our examples, as our image containers, so that when people are seeing the documentation, that's what they're going to be encouraged to use. Java 17 is fully supported by Jenkins at this point in time, so there's no reason not to. Uh, provides uh, better and more testing and uh, just better and uh, faster development environments than Java 11 does. So um, I've been able to go through the uh, documentation at this point. I've gone through the, uh, what I would call regular documentation. So um, things like the installation documentation, the pipeline documentation, uh, using managing Jenkins, those uh, types of documentation and have gone and updated them accordingly. Uh, so far, these are the ones that I've found that needed updates and have received them. Uh, Mark's gone through and verified all of these as well and has helped me with testing and making sure that everything is correct and valid. Um, so everything's going really well right now. We've made a lot of headway. Uh, right now, uh, the next step is uh, tutorial pages and making sure that those are all set and making sure that we have a page uh, similar, if not exactly like the Java 8 to Java 11 upgrade instructions. Uh, right now, though that's still valid, we want to make sure that that's still available, but we do need one for the Java 11 to Java 17 transition as well. Um, I started working on that, uh, found some gaps there and some things that uh, we weren't aware of at the time that might need a little bit more guidance and clarification on, uh, but that's something that I, I will be sticking up with Mark and others in the team. Uh, moving on, so a couple of pull requests of interest that we have open right now. Uh, so uh, as before, we have the pull request from Tanuj about administering Jenkins on Kubernetes. Uh, he's added some more content. There's a lot more here. We just need uh, some confirmation from sub subject matter experts or um, if there's anything. Good. Uh, yeah. Could you jump to the bottom of that one? Because I wasn't sure. sure that Tanuj had made any changes since the last time we met. So, so whoops, you're a little too far oh. down now. So up, oh, whoa, right there. Perfect. Okay. So two weeks ago was the last change. Okay. So Tanuj has been, has not been active on the pull request since our comments and corrections. Great. Okay. And, and that's up to Tanuj. If, if Tanuj wants yeah. to be involved or not, that's not something we can force. So we've provided the feedback and, now it's up to Tanuj when or if they get involved. Great, okay. Yep. Perfect, thanks Mark, appreciate it. Uh, next up on the list, so uh, Jeffrey Chen 
had originally submitted a pull request for moving the best practices page from the Jenkins wiki to uh, Jenkins.io. Uh, so we've been working on this. Mark's uh, converted a lot of it here and uh, has put together our best practices page that we feel is really well done at this point. And uh, recognizing that best practices are, some, are a discussion to be had, not a hard and fast uh, locked in place sort of thing. Um, the best practices page is you know, what has been found to work really well and what we recommend. And um, even if it's not 1 million percent complete in that sense, you know, this where we're at is is really good and solid. And we have a lot to share. Yeah, I, I think, Kevin, scroll to the bottom. Let's see if the preview okay. is ready. It may not be ready sure. yet. Uh, okay, yet. so whoops, scroll up a little. Up mm -hmm. just whoa, right there. Okay, view changes, view deploy. Okay, so the deployment doesn't have the fixed hyperlink yet. Okay, so maybe we yeah. come back to it before end of meeting or visit it later. I think yeah. it's ready to merge if that last change was successful. So if the broken, if that broken hyperlink is fixed, then I think it's at least better than nothing. And one more wiki page that's been converted and converted in a way that we think makes sense. Definitely. Uh, and the, we do have like, uh, I have the preview for the best practices page that we had right before that making change. So um, a lot of great content's already been put here. A lot of videos that Darren Pope's taken the time to record and make for us that just really uh, does an amazing job of helping explain and clarify some of the Jenkins in open source ideas that uh, could be a bit of a struggle for someone or you know um, just something that's a little bit more foreign uh, this is great and uh yeah once that fix is all done and this is ready to deploy we can check it out and go from there uh, next up there is the scripting and security page pull request uh, i have not had a chance to look into this yeah. just yet and review, no progress so. on this one for me either uh, and i won't have a chance to discuss it with meg for another three weeks because i'll miss asia office hours 12 hours from now and i'll miss mm -hmm. asia office hours a week from now so the next time meg and i will talk will be two weeks from two weeks and about 12 hours from now um and, and in that time mark i'm i'm sure that i can look at it and you get uh, something put together at the very least so uh i'll try i'll do my best to get uh synced up or asynchronously check in with Meg on that one too and yeah I, some comments or something. I actually wouldn't worry about it Kevin I think the Java 11 work is is much higher priority this this one is work that Meg and I had started we'll just keep working it okay fair enough then no worries and I'll keep on doing that uh next up so DevOps world uh, tour this year is a little different so um registration's open right now uh, and the idea behind DevOps World this year is that it's going to be multiple smaller sessions globally, as opposed to one larger conference in uh, one location. Uh, the idea is that this will be able to reach more and more people, give flexibility in terms of dates and, and being able to connect and go. Uh, and there's going to be Jenkins representation and, and talks. Um, we're figuring all of that out still, so uh, nothing really to note there yet. But registrations open you can check out uh, on the site what locations look like what the dates are so new york chicago silicon valley singapore and london um, so this is going to be really great really fun and uh, so hopefully this will make the a lot more accessible to folks since uh, it does have that reach and i am uh, and pleased then, to say that i'm on the agenda or no, nice. if you if you looked at the agenda published now out out there for New York for Chicago and so click the New York one, and I think they've got the speakers listed. There they are. Yep, there you are. So I'm on Mark. on the agenda for New York for Chicago and for San Francisco on the topic, contribute benefit your business by contributing to open source.
And then uh, was it, um, what was the third one, Mark? Or is it, are you just doing New York and Chicago? New York, Chicago, and Silicon Valley, San Francisco. Okay, area. you will be at the Silicon Valley. Nice. That's awesome. Exciting. Yeah. Very cool. So that so there's plenty to look forward to there and plenty of reason to go. Just to hear uh just to, if anything to hear Mark's talk. Uh and then again, as we mentioned at the beginning of the uh, uh hour, uh, Mark's gonna be out of office for this evening, today, tomorrow's uh asia docs office hours and next week's as well so uh the next meeting for asia docs office hours will be july 27th okay and that covers everything i had on the agenda for today mark anything else to uh note or um go over real quickly nothing else from me Let's see if this now has the deploy oh well, it does have the deployment So now, yeah. Works. Okay, perfect. I think it's ready to merge then, Kevin. Cool. All right, then. So I'll go ahead and merge with that. And the best practices page will now be available. It will be visible on the Jenkins site in a couple hours. Fantastic. Thanks. Thanks so much, Mark. Have a great day, everyone. Recording will be available in 24 to 48 hours.